Hello and welcome to Come Dinner First Date With Me, a brand new dating experiment in which we take people who are too shy to go out and meet others, but are happy to go on a date that's broadcast to the nation. Let's meet our diners. First up, it's bank worker Lee, who will no doubt be banking on getting a second date. Ooh. I'm a bit of a cheeky chap, love the boys, love the banter. Been playing the field for a long time now, but I'm looking to meet someone who I can settle down with. I've got an audition for X on the Beach, and I'd love to have someone who could join me on the show. One thing you should know about me, I have been known to be a bit tight, but then again, I am a banker. It certainly rhymes with banker, mate. Let's meet the lucky lady, and believe me, I use the term loosely, that Lee will be cooking for tonight. Hiya, my name's Sade. I've had a lot of heartbreak these past few years, and I'm just looking for someone I can have a good time with. I'm not bothered about looks. I just want a man who can make me laugh and who's really creative and thoughtful with that classic rugby player body type. Easy to please then, Sade. Luckily for you, bankers are renowned for being both caring and athletic. <laughs> so I'm going to start with an old classic prawn cocktail. I hope you don't mean crisps. She looks more like a cheese and onion girl to me. <laughs> For the main, I'm going nachos. Great for sharing, and with loads of cheese, I'm thinking maybe a little lady in the tramp moment. Well, it looks like you've got yourself a bit of a tramp. Guess that makes you the lady. And for dessert, I've just put sex. Well, at least he's to the point. Let's see what Sade thinks of the menu. Uh, a cocktail with prawns in it. Don't think I like that. But if he's got booze in it, then I'm happy. <laughs> Skip the meal, Lee. Just get her a bottle of vodka. Nachos. I like the nachos. Eloquently put. Are you sure you don't write for the Sunday Times? Glug. And for dessert, he's just put sex? Aw, that is so romantic. Straight out of Romeo and Juliet, that one. Tonight is date night, so let's see how our lucky, or not so lucky, <coughs> couple is preparing. <laughs> Says crush the ice? That can't be right. You're making a right meal out of that, Lee. <laughs> or not as the case may be. <laughs> so, I don't really know what booze goes in a prawn cocktail. So, I'm basically making a mojito and I'm going to put the prawns on top with the mint. Let's hope he doesn't make an absolute prawn of himself, boo! Okay, so I've got the music lined up. I've had a bikini wax. I think I'm ready. Oh man, I feel like dead nervous, like proper butterflies. I really hope she's fit. And like, personality and all that. Hiya. All right, come in then. <laughs> Uh, yeah, come on through, come on through. Can I uh, take your top? Yeah, that'll be great, thanks. Okay, if you want to uh, take a seat, I'll go get us a drink. Got to say a uh, cheeky bottle of rouge to start. Oh, I love white wine, thank you. I've also got some music for you two. Just a nice one to set the mood. Oh, very suave. Your baby, shaky as you know. Crying up to be nice and slow. Wind it down and round and up and low. I bet I make you sweat, I make you wet, I make you moan. Oh, lovely. So, whilst Lee puts the finishing touches on his prawn cocktail, let's see what his bit of tail has to say about him. <laughs> I like him, yeah. He seems like really funny and intelligent. I don't know if it's love at first sight, but we shall see how the meal goes. Blimey, love at first sight? You might want to get your eyes tested. Uh, <laughs> should have gone to spec savers, am I right? She's definitely my type. Nice big, uh, big art, definitely. And uh, yeah, uh, I think I do fancy her actually, yeah. I'd have preferred her to have a bit more cleavage on show, but saying that, 
I can see it through the top anyway. Here we are, prawn cocktail. Oh, that looks very nice. Cheers. Cheers. What should we drink to? To uh, come dinner first date with me. Come dinner first date with me. That's the name of the show. Yeah, yeah, that's why I was thinking it. <laughs> Mmm, this is really good. I love cocktails. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I just... Oh, no way, that is classic. Oh. I thought the French just made white wine. No, they made both apparently. And that one that's like red and white mixed together. Rosé. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. No, I read in a guide that Coast of Rome Reserve was the best one. I mean, like... I watched on TV that wine is nice. I never read, I'm such a ditz. Uh, yeah, I hate reading as well. I mean, from uh, Wordsworth to Proust, I haven't read any of them. With Lee's unconventional take on a prawn cocktail going down well, but hopefully not coming back up again, bleh, well, let's see how they fare with the main course. <laughs> My four-year-old makes less mess than you two. Oh, shit. Do you know why you can't have this cheese? Why? It's nacho cheese. <laughs> what? It's nacho cheese. Yeah, it's on the nachos, yeah. No, like it's not not your cheese. Uh, oh yeah, oh that that's brilliant that. Did, did you make that yeah. up? I like socialising with friends and going to bars and family time too. I like all music really. Like at college I did media, so like music videos and everything. I like music videos. No way, me too! I like nights in and nights out. Oh, Wait, so you've been to London as well? Yeah! That is so weird! I know, we've got so much in common. So, tell me about your exes. I've had my heart broken a lot, so I'm always too afraid to get close to girls. I guess I just need that one person to heal me, you know? What about you? I was so devastated when I thought my Instagram was set to private, but actually, by accident, I set it to public and pictures of me in my underwear appeared online. I mean, I would hate to be one of those women in the last mags with like everything out, but it feels like that, you know? Because if you type in Sade underscore Fireheart XOX into Google, then you'll see everything. I feel like a cover girl. And it's awful to think that the owners of those magazines are potentially looking at my photos and considering me for full or part-time work, including weekends. I think like, you and me have a connection. I know, it's like I've never been able to share that with anyone on national television. And we've had such a laugh as well. Yeah. <laughs> like with the cocktail thing. And the nacho cheese. Oh yeah. Yeah, I still don't fully get that one, but it was funny. <laughs> yes, you're both hilarious. I've been in hysterics the entire time. And as they both like music videos, well, I'm sure that means that wedding bells will be ringing soon. <laughs> Maybe Sade will even wear clothes for the big day. Well, we're not done just yet, because we have to see what she makes of Lee's dessert. So, with the cocktail and the wine, uh, we've actually run out of booze. So, I was thinking we could go to a bar or something, like, before we have our dessert. What was the dessert again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. That sounds great. Oh, OK, brilliant. Well, they're opening this new nightclub in town with some celebs, so we can go and uh, check it out if you want. I'll grab your top for you. Actually, if there's celebs there, then there'll be paparazzi, so I'll probably just end up taking this off, to be honest. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Do you want to go first? Uh, okay, yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> all right, I'll go first. Uh, so... Um, I think you're really fit, and uh, I felt like um, a real connection with you. So uh, yeah, I I I would like to meet up again. Yeah. Yeah, I think we got on really well. 
Yeah, I'd really like to meet up again. Wicked. So how much Proust have you read? Well, I'm a bit of a Proust fiend if I was to speak from the shoulder, as it were. Oh, I just fell in love when I studied him at uni. I'd have loved to have done literature. Stuck with biochem, sadly, but I just went where the grades were. I was going to get into cancer research, but then obviously this came along. Well, yeah, it's all about giving back, isn't it? 